In this part 1 recording, we will show how to model a 3D frame from scratch and how to perform an analysis in S-Frame. Also, we will be checking some of the results. Please note there is also a part 2 video, which will be focused on the design and optimization of this 3D frame using S-Steel. S-Frame can help us generate a frame for us. So if I go to edit and regular framework I will see this new window where I can define and specify the dimensions of my new frame so I already typed in some units uh, two stories of 3 meters height in the x direction 3 bays every 6 meters in the y direction 2 bays every 5 meters and we're starting from a 0, 0, 0 point at X, Y and Z axis and I click OK so S-Frame has automatically generated a frame for us and some folders which contains the beams and columns at each level now I will define my supports I will create fixed supports at the base of each column with this tool support tool please ensure to have all these options selected which are constraining in the X, Y and Z translation and rotation at each node. If I select uh, this view, the left view, I can click and drag over my nodes and assign those constraints. Now every column at the base has been fixed. Now we'll define my section properties. I will define a steel section properties for all my column and beams. If I go to section properties tool and I right click, I can look f f in the steel databases. If I click on steel from the European steel database, I will select an IPE 140 for my beams and I, I can click add to and for my columns I will select uh, HE340A and I add it. Once I'm OK I, I can click OK with my options and I will see them here and I click close. Now S-Frame has automatically assigned section property number one to each member and the color is black so we're gonna change the color if I right click here I can change to light green for my beams and now I want to select only my columns to assign this property you can do it manually or you can select only your columns and assign that load uh, that, that section property for that we're gonna create a new folder to save our column elements there. In order to do it, we just need to go to my structure and right click and select new group, which I'm gonna call column. I hit the enter button. Now I need to select the vertical members. How can I do it? There are different ways, but I will do it in the if I unselect all now everything is unselected and I'm gonna use the select tool to select my vertical members by geometry so I need to go to select I will select a special and you need to select only the vertical members so you click on verticals and click OK and only your vertical element has, has been selected please remember to update your folder with these elements if you right click on your folder and say update selected group now every time if I go to my structure and go back, go back to my column folder I will see my columns now I can click on the section property for my columns and click and drag over all my elements now you can check on your material properties you can assign whichever you want uh, would you like for your structure and we will define some panels to apply the area loads 
later in the loads window so if I go to the panel elements remember to select all your whole model and look for a view where you can see your panels the first story and second story and I will define an area load only only to define my area loads and I start clicking at the four vertices which contains my panel at the first and I do the same for the second story now we're gonna distribute the loads with the span direction tool but first SFRIM is telling me that the area load members folder doesn't contain any members so I need to assign them I click OK and this is the area load members folder so if I right click and updates, update selected group now my folder has been updated and now I can proceed to define my panel uh, my span direction so I will define you can define two way span short long or any in this for this example I will select the two way for my two stories my two panels now I can go to the loads window and I will create only one case a new load case call dead load and I click OK or the enter button and in area load tool I can assign a minus 1.5 kN per meter square in the set direction and I apply it at the center of my panel so now I'm ready to analyze my model if I go to analyze and I'm gonna perform a linear static analysis and I click OK it's gonna ask me to save it so I save it as 3D frame and now you can see or a solver that comes with no errors or warnings and I touch any key on the keyboard and I can start looking at my results you can see at your reactions in the Z direction, Y, X you can see at your actual forces in the columns you can see your shear diagrams and moment diagrams and so on for Y and Z. You can see your at your deflections and if you are interested at a specific deflection for example this member uh, and the middle you can double click this member and will display a better view of what is going on there. So right now this is the Y deflection but I'm interested in the Z deflection and I can see that at the middle is about almost nearly 10 millimeter. Thank you for watching and for more tutorial videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel.